One thing that I am not, I am not a victim. I'm going to repeat that again. I am not a victim. America is not a racist country. But racism is used to control the controllables. Racism is used to control the controllables. Now, there are people that disagree. There are people that feel that they are being discriminated against racially. I would like to challenge you and ask, when was the last time you were discriminated against for your color? Now, I will agree that America used to be a racist country. But we're in different times now with different people, with different mentalities. Are there traces of racism? Of course. Individually, you may uh, deal with some type or some level of racism, but America as a whole is not racist. Look at the number of immigrants and migrants that have come to this country of all races and nationalities. Look at the number of so-called black Americans that are now millionaires and billionaires, that are political figures, that are judges, that are doctors, that are lawyers. Just look at the advancement of so many so-called black Americans. But you say that America is racist. If America was racist, we would not see the changes that have taken place in this country, the radical changes that have taken place in this country. For example, at one time, homosexuality was considered a mental disorder, according to the DSM. Now, homosexuality is a protected class with reparations. I repeat that, it's a protected class with reparations. So how is America a racist country when we have so many interracial families, so many interracial children, so many interracial relationships and marriages Marrying someone interracially is no longer illegal, is it? The same people that are in interracial relationships and marriages or that have interracial children are the one that's crying out loudly or louder talking about how racist America is. Racism is used to control the controllable. Just think about the group of people that's controlled by racism. It's black people. It's the so-called black Americans that's controlled, easily manipulated. Let's take, for example, critical, critical race theory, which they call CRT. One thing you have to question is who is that directed towards? Who's going to really benefit from critical race theory? Although you see so many so-called black Americans on the forefront. But who's going to really benefit from that? It's like Black Lives Matter. All we heard was Black Lives Matter. Black people on the forefront. But who benefited from Black Lives Matter? A few black people that was able to help the Democrats and Joe Biden get into office and they were greatly rewarded for that. But what happened to the black community? Has it changed the black community? Has it advanced the so-called black community? Let's take critical race theory. Say if it's taught in schools, what type of changes would take place in the black community? 
What type of changes will take place in the black community if critical race theory is taught in the schools? In my humble opinion, I think it's a bit too late. It's a bit too late to teach about black history or the realities of slavery. It's too late for that. So why now? Why now when the country is open to every illegal immigrant under the sun? These same illegal immigrants have more rights than American born citizens. They have more rights than tax paying citizens. So who is that critical race theory is going to really benefit? Yeah, you see black faces. You see black politicians. But since those black politicians been in position of authority, what changes happen in the black community? Where have the black community advanced? So that tells me that that racism is used to control the controllables, those that are asleep, those that are victims or feel they are victims, but refuse to unite and do for themselves. Just think about the women movement and the uh, feminist movement and the uh, LGBTQ community. Think about all of these people that had laws signed in their favor. What is the common, what is the common, what's the term I want to use? What's the com, what thing do they have in common to make those things happen for them? They all had unity. Every single one of them were united. The LGBTQ community was united. The Jews united. The uh, illegal immigrants, of course, united because they're breaking into this country. And you had people that were helping them out. So all of these groups, these individual groups were united and they were able to get things done. What have the black community done? We hear in the news that they're killing each other. I can turn on the police scanner right now and all you hear is so many shootings taking place in the black community. So many Black people stabbing each other. So many black people breaking into the homes of other black people. A bunch of confusion. So these are the same people that will cry out and say that systematic racism is keeping them down. But what have you done for yourself? Why have you dropped out of school? Why weren't you able to make the grade? Why did you allow them to push your children through the non-educational system? They just pushed them through. And you, as a parent, allowed that to take place. I recall my oldest son, um, he had problems at one time in school. And like a lot of so-called black Americans, he was going to try to push them through the system. I went to the school and told them, no, he can't, you can't pass him. He's not going to the next grade until he work up to standard. He would have to work and get himself up to standard. I made them keep him after school. I made them give him homework when they refused to give students homework. They refused to allow the students to take books home. But I had to make sure my son took books home. I had to make sure he had homework when no other student had homework. So I made him learn. But that's not the case for a lot of so-called black American parents. Unfortunately, a lot of you lose your children to gun violence, senseless gun violence. It's 12, 14 a.m. right now. And if I go outside and just drive down the street, I'm going to see a lot of your kids just walking up and down the street, commit mischief. 
robbing people, breaking into businesses. I listen to the police scanner and you hear the alarm going off in the background where somebody's child broke into a business. Where's the parents? And then when something happens to your child, you want to put angel wings on them and say how good they are and how they were they wanted to be a police or they wanted to be uh, a doctor or a lawyer. But what happened when he was alive before he lost his life to the streets? Were you as a parent making sure that he was doing what he's supposed to do? Were you making sure as a parent that he was in the house at a decent hour and not in the street commit mischief, but yet you want to cry racism? You want to cry and say America is a racist country when in reality it's not. Me and so many other so-called black Americans have no problems. I don't deal with racism. And yes, I'm only one individual person. But maybe it's because of the choices that I make in life. And unfortunately, a lot of black Americans are not making the right choices for themselves or their children. We always talk about how young black children are brought up in a single parent home. Where's the father? And most of these kids have brothers and sisters that don't have the same father. Why is that? Who's to blame? But yet, you want to cry that America is racist and not allowing you opportunities when you're not taking advantage of the basic education that they give you. You're not studying your books. You're not making the grade. You're skipping class, skipping school, not even going to school. I see a lot of y'all walking up and down the street when you should be in school, selling drugs, gang banging, and your excuse is, I didn't have no father in the home. That's no excuse. If you really want to make it in life. So maybe the so-called foundational black Americans need to make changes for themselves. Show that you want something in life instead of always looking for someone to give you a handout. Because once they start giving you handouts, then you become lazy, shiftless and lazy, and don't want to work because you're so used to the government giving you because they know if they give you something free, check out the game. If they give you something free, they know that you are going to vote for them to keep them in office because you want them to continue to give you free stuff. You don't want that free check to go away. So you keep voting them in the office, the same ones that you say is racist. The ones that's really you really keeping their foot on, the, on your neck and you allowing it. Those are the ones you keep voting in position of authority. Power over you. You enjoy being a slave to the system. You enjoy being discriminated against. And you may say, how is it that I enjoy that? No one likes to be discriminated against. No one likes to be enslaved where you are because you are not doing anything to better your life. Don't you realize that you, you're the one that's in power to change or make changes in your life and the life of your children? So now your little children that you see, that you give birth to women, that you bring into the world, young men, these are the same children that's going to have to suffer tomorrow. While all of these illegal immigrants are taking advantage of these opportunities, this educational system and moving forward above your children. And your children are still going to be on the bottom voting for the same people in office to keep them on the bottom. And when they come up with a new 
drug or vaccine, guess who's going to be the sacrificial lamb? Your children. And they're going to make you feel good and make your children feel good about being the crash dummy. You and your children are the crash dummies of the world. And you're happy to be a crash dummy. And the only thing you do is take in all the free stuff that's given to you and complain. America is racist. You say they're racist because you lost control of your child. Your child is out in the street committing mischief. Your child is now attacking law enforcement, resisting arrest because they did wrong. And then now you believe that your child was an angel when you had no idea where, you, where your child was or what they were doing. So you're not, now your child is out there pointing a fake gun or a firearm at a cop. He shoots your son and kill him. Now this country is racist because he shot a black boy. But yet, where were you as a parent? Where were you as a parent to protect your son from being killed in the street at 2 and 3 o'clock a.m.? Why weren't your kids in bed? But the excuse is you're single parent moms. There's no father in the home. Why is it there no father in the home? What did you do to chase that man out of the home? And if it was that man's fault for not being there in his child's life, why is it that you have seven other kids and they all have different fathers. That's nowhere in sight. And you're able to just point fingers at any random man and accuse them of being your child's father. When in, in reality, he's not all because he slept with you one time. That was a trap. So, no, America is not racist. But racism is used to control the controllable. Who are the controllable? The ones that's out there saying that America is racist. Those that are saying that we need critical race theory to teach slavery in school. Why? How is that going to advance the black community? How is that going to make you a better person? How is that going to motivate you? The only thing it's going to do is make white people feel guilty, make them feel bad, but yet your children are still being sacrificed, being used as pawns, being used as crash dummies with their hands out on the bottom for the crumbs of the government. When the same people that you voted into office ignores you when you cry for reparations saying we want the same opportunity that they have, but yet they ignore you, but they want you, they want to be able to teach critical race theory in school that don't even benefit you. Although a black face is on the front cover and you think because a black face is on the front cover saying how racist this country is, you think that they're benefiting you when in reality it's benefiting all of the illegals that's crossing the border. Once critical race theory is taught in school, they may teach a fragment of slavery, which again is too late. But then everything else, the LGBTQ, all of these other agendas that they have in mind will reap the benefits of that while black people on the bottom are content with just the image of a black person being on the Supreme Court the image of a black politician or a black vice president or a black president but yet 
These black faces, these brown faces don't have the same agenda that you have. Don't have the same interest at heart that you have. They don't have the same interest that you have. Entirely different agendas. They want you to remain on the bottom feeling like you are a victim. Feeling like you are being discriminated against. So that they can use racism to control you. To keep you at bay. So that's my thought on it. That's why I personally feel that America is not a racist country. It used to be a racist country when it was just black and white. It was racist. But it's not now. Because we're dealing with an entirely different spirit. We're dealing with different people. Are there fragments of racism? Of course. There's fragments of racism in every nation you go to. Even in African nations. There's fragments of racism. There's fragments of racism in Afghanistan, Ethiopia. Russia. China. Think of the number of Africans that were discriminated against in the UK and in China and in Russia in just about every nation of the world there's fragments of racism but does it make that a racist country? No one is saying that about China. Why not? Why is it that America is the only racist nation on this planet? Because of the history of slavery? America needs to make things right with the FBAs, the Foundational Black Americans. Make it right with the so-called Black Americans by giving them what is due to them, and that is reparations. And then if you want to teach critical race theories in school, you can do that. But until that point, it's useless. It only makes you feel good. It's only it's not even a cream to put over the bruise nor a band-aid. It's to keep you content without giving you anything. Critical race theory It's too late, and it's not to benefit black Americans. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Till next time, I'm fearless.